strong check point by point fact check of the president's claims. They yeah. could have, by the way, Juliet, done that in tandem. If you know, if they're gonna publish what the president said, they could have done it in real time on the other part of the page or what have you. But big picture, what does this do to those that believe the lies? I mean, this is this is what is so outrageous about what the Wall Street Journal did is, it, it, you know, to quote the president, you know, it gives a fleece vest to, to this radicalization, right? It's a radicalization in a in a fancy fleece vest. And that's exactly what the Wall Street Journal has done at this stage. So you have to think about what radicalization is. It is you need your army. That's what Tucker Carlson is doing. And then you need people to forgive the army to say, oh, they're really not that bad. We're going to excuse them. And this is sort of a perfect storm that we're seeing now. Um, and, you know, it's just a shame that you don't have a strong political pushback uh, from the radicalization that is going on. And so it is heading towards, you know, whether it's the elections and you, you eventually silence it, it's the deplatforming, which has to continue to be done. It's these, uh, these uh, lawsuits. Uh, but it's also beginning to to, to expose exactly what the establishment is doing, which is it is it is promoting violence as a voting sort of as an essential part of voting. And you see it in Virginia, you see it in Georgia, you see it everywhere. Violence and the threat of violence, in particular against minorities who would assert their constitutional right, is now part of the GOP plan to win elections. And unless it's called out, they're going to get away with their fleece vests and their Wall Street Journal. We're going to talk.